For today, the focus will be on an oil bath. So an oil bath is often recommended for Ashtanga Yoga practitioners through the long term. So the day off that we have once a week, it is traditional to do an oil bath on that day. However, sometimes it depends on the constitution of your body on what type of oil that you need to use. For instance, if you run rather hot or are more of a pitta type, if we, are, if we speak in terms of Ayurveda, um, or have a bit of inflammation collecting in the body, it's good to use castor oil, which is rather cooling, as well as um, coconut oil. Coconut oil is also quite cooling. If you feel that you need to maintain heat and need more, um, uh, if you have a tendency to lose uh, heat in the body, sesame oil is recommended. It's good to do your research when it comes to using castor oil because it can be rather intense if you just douse yourself in the castor oil. Um, it's good to start slow, start with a little bit on the top of the head or work the feet and then take a shower um, and you will maintain some of the moisture on your skin which can actually be quite healthy for you. So for me personally, um, I tend to lose heat quite easily, so I prefer sesame oil. And sesame oil is really good for the skin. And any type of oil bathing is gonna be great for just massaging tired muscles, a great way to recover from the practice, especially if you're experiencing any type of muscle soreness, which definitely happens when we're learning new postures or when we're challenging our bodies. Um, and you want to, just massage the oil in and especially massage the areas that have a little bit of extra soreness. Um, let it sit on the body for a little while and then take a shower um, and really good for tired muscles. Again, going back to the castor oil, um, you don't want to do your first bath in castor oil for the whole body. There's a lot of good research done on that, or, or I, I shouldn't say research, but information that you can find on how to slowly build up a castor oil bath. So uh, again, take that in mind. Oil, bathing, oil baths are great for skin, also for hair, um, and uh, a great way to just give yourself some self-care when you're working pretty hard physically. So for the oil bath, you want to uh, take the oil and just massage it into the skin and maybe concentrate on those areas that you experience extra soreness and just massage the oil in, take your time, just so you can get a little bit of a release in those sore, sore areas. So again, when you start to do oil baths on a regular basis, you'll just notice that it will help with your recovery. Um, when you have soreness, it will also help with just the, the texture and tone of your skin. And also sometimes with the sun, it depends on the oil, it also has some detoxification properties as well. So um, with the oil bathing, do some research and see which oil is good for your constitution or body type. That will also be really important.